please write your criticism in the comments. But if you're a hater, then don't write anything. It's my story. If you don't like, don't read. Constructive criticism only plugs. Prologue. Being the author. Narrator's point of view. Hello, and welcome to fanfiction.net. Everyone has a little something creative inside of them, and this is the place to let that something out, whether it's adventure, romance, fantasy, horrible fetishistic lust, a slice of life, or a slice of lung. To make sure you get the most out of fanfiction.net that you possibly can, we've created this helpful guide that'll get you started in just four easy chapters. Chat per one. The basils of writing. Let's start with the basics of writing. Where else would you start? The acidics? Author's note, this is a chemistry joke. If you do not get it, look it up on Wikipedia. Remember, tell don't show. When writing a story, you are a shepherd and the readers are your dumb, dumb sheep. Always explicitly tell whose point of view we are currently in. There's no way a reader could glean this on their own from context clues or pronouns. Having a relatable character is key to writing a story. And who's more relatable than you? You know you better than anyone. And if there's one thing you know about you, it's that you are great. The easiest way to make a main character likable is to make every Every character in universe love them unconditionally. Character flaws are bad, so make sure your character doesn't have any. Also, make sure to give them a cool power like an evil dark side or omnipotence. Now pick a name. Something handsome. Anything will work. Uh, let's just say, I don't know, first thing that comes to your head. Perfect. Author's note, if you don't want people to accuse you of writing yourself into the story, then make sure your account name is not the same as your main character, because this happened to me. Fuck you, Nathan from school. Alternatively, find your inner Japanese name using Babelfish. Pick one with a meaning that matches you, like beautiful, raindrops, or shadow the hedgehog. When writing, make sure to keep a sharp eye out for pitfalls like punctuation and hormones. Hormones are important. There's no two ways about it. When in doubt, just put semicolons everywhere. Semicolons are for smart people and only smart people. Use them so your audience will think you're smart. Author's oh, note, also for kitty feces. Ah, cute with claws and sweet droops. Proofreading is also very important. Always remember to- Can't think of ideas. Come back to this section later before posting. Cheaper toi. Destroy content. To write, you need an idea. If you don't have an idea, that's perfectly okay. You can borrow ideas, plot lines, settings, characters, and even entire casts. When your creativity runs out, use the work of others to supplement your own, such as A Day in the Life of Franchise, Dark and Gritty Retelling of Something Innocent, and everyone's favorite, My Video Game Cartridge is Haunted. Interesting stories always have a plot twist, and what story has a better twist than Oliver Twist? Get it? Or better yet, Oliver Twist, the twisted fates wherein my own original character, Olivier Twist, his sister, is also orphaned, but she's sent to an orphanage in China where she masters their native arts of kung fu and capoeira. And also she's the gingeriki and maybe the messiah, but shh, that's a secret. Now, let's check the reviews. What's this? Someone didn't like your story and they've written down their criticisms? How dare they? How are you ever supposed to get any better if people keep nagging you about what you need to work on? If this criticism is too much, for you, then it might be time to step it down a peg. Are fanfiction.net standards just too high for you? <laughs> That's fine. We'll take it down a notch and instead practice your writing skills on Wattpad. Wattpad is a lot like fanfiction.net, except the age cap for writing a story there is 13, and most of the fictions involve Naruto and or One Direction. Proving the old adage true, Wattpad allows you to add professional looking covers to your book to disguise its actual quality. You can also post a cast list for when your book gets made into a major motion picture, which will definitely happen. The desire of Wattpad authors to get their books published is inversely proportional to the amount they understand about the publishing industry. Always include handsome shirtless men in your Wattpad stories. This will get you mad teenage cred. Chateau Twee E-Samples Now that you know the basics, it's time to get inspired. Take a gander at some of the fabulous examples we got in our fanfiction library, such as... Slash Fiction Size doesn't matter. Lemon, we fit Trainer X Olimar. His penis burled deep inside of me, myself losing all senses except desire. We fitness trainer stared down with her dead, pupilless eyes at her tiny lover, unblinking. Olimar looked back with his Muppet face and did not say any words, because he did not know how. Okay. Screamed Ness, who had walked in to see this horrid discourse going on on top of his new carpet. Self-insert yaoi. Our duet, Folkloid, Gekpo, Excellent, by Marissa Rocks 101. Warning, yaoi, don't like, don't read. Thanks! <laughs> Arnar, please. Gekpo was sitting across from Len Kuhn at Vocaloid dinner. Also, there was his best friend, Marissa, me, lol, sitting there. She was a Neko girl. Today was the day he hated to tell whether or not his feelings for Len Shan were returned. Kaito Kun, Marissa's boyfriend, was Japanese and cooked them all bento boxes for dinner. Itadakimasu, said Marissa chan, and her cat ears twatched. Aw, Marissa chan is so kawaii, said Kaito Kun. Bento boxes are Watashi's favorite, Marissa chan replied, then kissed her on the cheek. No kissing at the table, eh, said Mako. Was that her name? I don't remember. Go man. <laughs> Sweet Droopy, save it for later. And Mako gave me a wink. Mako, you dirty, get your minds out of the gutter. 
It was so embarrassing, a vein veined on my head and Kaido got a nose blued. <laughs> but I can't stay mad at her because we're Nakama XD. Um, Len Sama, there's something I wanted to ask you. Suddenly, Gakpu, who had been sitting there silently, also blushing. Oh, hi. Said Len Donna, who was blushing at him. Um, well, uh, do you like me? He said, looking down. OMG! Sugoid me and Kaito, the blood rushing to our cheeks. Which ones? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> this was so unexpected! <laughs> Len blushed. Gakpu. I love you. Then he blushed. We fell down like an anime when there was a joke or a baka. Len went over and kissed him! Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm a little blush. I need a hot bath to cool down. Said Len Senpai. Gosh, I sure hope Gaggy-kun doesn't walk in here. <laughs> he balfed. Len, are you done yet? Oh my goodness! Oh. He had walked in on Len taking the bathing! Oh, and Jean knows blood! <laughs> No. Stop it! Er mine! <laughs> Sorry, Kaito chan! Len sniffed his eggplant hair. Me chan, will you marry me? Asked Gimpo. Find out next time! That's it? No, we can't stop there! Huh? But you have to go to bed because you have school tomorrow! <laughs> I guess so. My mom can get really angry sometimes. Don't tell my mom. Kaito is always keeping me on the good grades. <laughs> Sorry, girls. If you want more, then blame Kaito, not me. He's my husband. I have a pillow with him on it. Creepy pasta. Continue file 666. Recorded from a real blog of a college student before he suicided. I am college student who lives alone in a dorm and got a nostalgia for the good old days. I saw their sale was Pokemon Emerald on Etsy, hipster, eBay, so I buy. When I get Catridge, it was Emerald, only black with Scarleton on the front instead of Rayquaza, but with blood eyes. On the file, I am in Elite Four versus Lance and only have six Pokemon in my party. They all unknown and they spell, You're dead! Pretty suspicion, I think, but probably just something in my eye? The music is Lavender Town, but backways, and when I go fight, he, he has 666 Pokemon too. He sends one out, and I hear its cry. It turns out hit the Pokemon, they are all my dead girlfriend, but hyper-realistic and blood eye. It's so scary, you guys, that I throw the PlayStation across the room, broke the game in half. Next day, I get roommate to play. He's like, <laughs> probably is not that scary, but she turned on the game, and the screen was a picture of us and but we were dead and the scariest part of this story is that we was you and you became skeleton and wrote this one direction goes one direction and that direction is towards my vagina ideal cast one direction and me i am ali i am 14 and i am getting a new job I am getting a new job at a really office building and am hired as a new secretary of Mr. Styles. Who is he? Find out. Number one, my sexy boss is my roommate. Just then, I saw my boss turn around and it was, it was me, said boss, and he was Harry Styles. Harry? I questioned really loud and so did my best friend, Samantha. Here's my other secretary, Mr. Noitzerid Eno, said Harry Styles. Then out came four secretaries, and they were total hotties. Which one is Mr. Eno? Well, I can't decide it, said Ryan Styles, because all of them was my boyfriend. It turned out Mr. Noiserid Eno was actually a code name that meant One Direction. And now I was going on tour with them. Chapter two. My sexy band is going on a tour with my boss roommate, Tam. Hey, you're going on tour with us, said Harry. No way. That was crazy. I am biggest fan. Harry, I made you muffins, said Niall. But that was so not what we were talking about. First, we have to get you a dress for the big coming on tour dance. And everyone's invited, said Liam to me. A dress I sputtered like a dying putt-putt, but I was fat and have anorexia and low self-esteem. Actually, Niall said, you would maybe look better without the dress. Mm. Suddenly, I was naked and one day was like all up on. <laughs> they were making out with each other and I got to watch them kiss and touch the butts and touch my butts. And they mixed me the best because I was the prettiest and was way prettier than Amy at school who's going out with Nathan. Fuck you, Nathan. Please come back to me. <laughs> I'd love to write more, but I'm out of ideas. <laughs> we'll write again when I think of some more. Stay tuned for chapter four. XOXOXOXOX tilde 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 tilde
ได้เห็นแบบพี่